What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. So uh, I'm just gonna get straight to the point because I don't like just, you know, lollygagging around because, you know, it waste time. So anyways, this is my video on my top five aircrafts. Just remember this is personal. This isn't going off any statistics or facts or whatever. This is just what I believe to be the most fun or the best for what I do and what I enjoy the most. So anyway, uh, let's get into number five. So at number 5 we got the Havoc, and at first glance you may be thinking, what the fuck is this piece of shit doing on this list? Well I'll tell you, it's pretty fun because the minigun is strapped on the bottom and directly in the center, making it very easy to hit your shots exactly where you're aiming it. Top of that it's very tiny so it's very hard to hit, and uh, I don't know if it's true or not, but it seems like it has a little lock-on immunity because every time I'm close to people it doesn't seem like they can kill me very easily with their uh, machine guns or whatnot. But anyway, yeah, it's pretty good for going off the radar and sneaking up on a tryhard, shooting your sticky bomb on the ground, or shooting them in the head, blowing their brains all over the beach. But, uh, yeah, all they can do is just look on to the sound of your helicopter flying away. This is a helicopter mainly meant for fun. I wouldn't recommend it as a first buy or as your main helicopter, because it is very expensive for what it is at a price of $1.7 million, which is uh, kind of ridiculous if you ask me, but... It is whatever, it's fun. But, yeah, I only have a few complaints about this helicopter, and that is it's, well, mainly it's lack of significant firepower, like missiles. The machine gun's good and all, it's just, it, it would be nice to have some missiles. I know it's a fucking little tiny helicopter, but it's a little mi missile launcher. I mean, if a Mark II has a missile launcher, I think the Havoc should as well. But, as you can see here, it's a, uh... It's a pretty good anti-helicopter vehicle, because most of them can't hit it, because it's so fucking tiny, and you can easily pilot snipe them out, and it does tons of damage, and it's very centered, so, as you can see right here, easily snipe them out, which is one of the main perks of this fucking helicopter. It's just this anti-attack helicopter abilities. The final and most obvious perk of the Havoc is, you know, clearly it's small size. It's uh, pretty good for escaping people, because, I mean, considering most planes are the size of the fucking building in this game, you can, uh, take this thing into the sewers and small little tunnels and shit and hide from them if they're chasing you down, which is pretty helpful. And, uh, not only that, but it's quick, so you can outrun, actually, I think, at least 70% of the planes. I think it's one of the quicker helicopters in the game. But yeah, that's just what makes it so fun to me. It's just all of these things combined. Like I said before, I wouldn't recommend it as, you know, one of your first purchases because it is way too overpriced for it to be good. But it is definitely fun if you're bored and you want to fuck around. This is definitely the helicopter to get. Jihad, Jihad. So, here at number 4 we have the Thruster. There's a lot to say on this vehicle. It's a really fucking fun vehicle. I mean, it has so many perks about it with it being, you know, one of the last weaponized vehicles in the game that still allows you to go in passive mode. So yeah, it's not really the ability of the vehicle, but it's still just nice to know. Uh, and it has the invisible wall on it, or on the back, which allows most missiles to, uh you know, explode before it hits you, including Mark II missiles. And uh, there's a lot of things like the There's a strafe mode where you can easily maneuver it around, have precise shots. Uh, it's really small, and it allows you to use thermal vision if you have a thermal helmet on. There's a lot of things I like about this. Uh, oh, also, did I mention it was fast? The Yeah, there's... There's plenty to do with this vehicle, and it's actually one of my favorite vehicles in the fucking game, aside from the Rogue. As I mentioned before, you can um, use thermal vision in this vehicle, and I'm going to show you right here how to do it. So you just have to have the uh, quad lens helmet on. You get off the vehicle and you activate it. You just get back on and there you go. You have thermal and you will be able to snipe people from far beyond, maybe even homing lock on, but far beyond um, auto aim range. 
So as you can see right here, I can see this guy from pretty far distance. Uh, yeah, I missed quite a bit of shots. I'm fucking rusty as fuck with this vehicle. But yeah, it is a very good vehicle. I've won a couple battles with it before, and it definitely serves its purpose well. Um, obviously, the only weapons you won't... What? Yeah, the only weapon you want to put on it is the missiles. It has the option for machine guns, but they're just fucking hot ass. Don't ever use those. They're worse than Night Shark machine guns. But, yeah, definitely go with the missiles. And You're mainly going to be using homing off. And uh, Speaking of the missiles, it only has 30 shots, and there is a bug with it. If you fire two shots in a row, and then you hold it down and wait for them to reload, uh, it will half your ammo capacity. So it's kind of an annoying bug it has, but just make sure you're just firing one at a time and you won't have to worry about that. Um, it has countermeasures, so if there's a Mark II coming and you're not at full speed yet, go ahead and pop it. You can start running away, because you need to be at full speed for the wall on the back to protect you from the missiles. So one of my favorite things about this vehicle is that it's pretty much just a small helicopter that you can spawn on the street. Yeah, a really small helicopter. Like, it's almost impossible to hit. Especially to snipe. It's not impossible, it's almost impossible. As you can see, it has significant firepower to take out multiple people at once. Um, so yeah, you can, you can really be deadly at this thing. The first shot here is a homing launcher. So, as you can see, it kind of blew up. But uh, you want to watch out for B-11 homing missiles, because as you can see, they actually can kill you, because they're way bigger than like, the homing launcher missiles. Which, uh, they can only go through, because just they're so long, and they go through the invisible wall, and it kills you. So yeah, just be careful for things like the B-11, and the Chernobog, and I think maybe the Hunter too has a little bit bigger missiles. But yeah, just keep on the lookout for those. Um, and yeah, uh, here I'm going to show off the strafe mode. To use strafe mode, you just combine L1 and R1, which is your left and right bumper, and when you do that, it prevents the vehicle from leaning, and it just goes directly side to side, and uh, if you look around for camera, it completely spins around instead of using the camera. So as you can see, we're going side to side, forward and back without leaning the camera makes it spin and it can also stop it on a dime if you're moving so here you can see I'm gonna start parkouring around this place and you can just see how powerful and precise you can fly with this which uh, is a really big helper because most of the complaints I hear about the thruster is that it's too wobbly you can't fly it's really unstable and well this just proves that the strafe mode is here to fix that and solves all those issues and makes it a very viable vehicle to use in combat. So at third place is the Akula. Man, is there a lot to talk about this? My dumbass will probably forget about half of it and not include it in this video, but man, there is so many tactics you can use with this helicopter, it's fucking great. Uh, for beginners, it's a stealth helicopter, which only costs 2.7 mil, which is not bad considering, you know, what it is. So you can go off the radar indefinitely. One thing I will add is that it does not protect you from being tracked by the orbital cannon, so just take that as you will. Um, it's one of the only helicopters in the game which you can actually legitimately fly without the game limiting you. So you can almost do like loops and shit in this helicopter, which, which is the main reason why it's my favorite, because you know you can actually fly it. Um. Uh. <laughs> like. Uh, what a dumbass. <laughs> he like, uh, came to my door and stuff. But anyway, um, as I was talking about before, you can, uh, fly this with basically no limitations. So you can really aim the weapons without the game trying to fucking level out your helicopter. As you can see here. Boom! Didn't expect that was coming, bro. He got so fucking salty. But yeah, that's like, uh... My favorite thing about this helicopter is that you can kill someone unexpectedly, go into stealth mode as they're spawning, and just hide behind a building in stealth mode, like around them, and then just wait for them to fucking just start moving around, like getting in a vehicle or something. You just go back and just 
strike again. They get so fucking mad. Usually the Mark II's come out by then. But as you can see here, the helicopter is also equipped with bombs. Um, uh, which goes along with the barrage missiles and the homing missiles. And uh, two different machine guns. So yeah. Oh, I dodged that. It's very hard to dodge missiles in this helicopter. That's one thing. But um, yeah, it's equipped with two pilot controlled machine guns right next to your missile launchers and it has a co-pilot controlled dual minigun on the nose and then it can be equipped with either homing missiles which are ass do not get those because you cannot turn the homing off or it comes with barrage missiles which are not the best but they're alright uh, they're the best ones then obviously as you saw it comes with bombs so yeah this thing is uh, pretty well equipped as you can see here, it's very quick, and you can climb while maintaining speed, which makes it very good for getting away from Mark II's or anything like that. Hell, even some planes. Like, I think this thing might be able to outrun a sea breeze, maybe. Don't quote me on that, but I think it might be able to. And, uh, as you can see, they're getting pretty fucking mad. Call me a pussy and shit. But yeah, that's what I really love about this helicopter, it's just that... It's so it's such a sneaky bastard, and that's what makes it just so fucking fun. Because even if they're on Mark II's, they'll eventually they'll get off, or if you can sneak behind them, you can you can fucking chop them up with your rotor blades. <laughs> it's pretty fun. But yeah, definitely get this helicopter. It's like one of the best ones in the game. I think it might even be better in a hunter, and just in my opinion, just solely because of its stealth mode, you can easily sneak up behind one and fuck him in the ass. But yeah, just buy this helicopter. It's fucking great. It'll never let you down. Ah, my beloved Seabreeze. I used to use this plane so much. In fact, if you're not a long-term subscriber, you probably don't know that I used to rock this plane all the fucking time. This used to be my rogue. Um, it's a very, very good first buy if you're a newcomer to flying and shit because, you know, only $850,000. I think it's only like 1.1 or 1.2 without the trade price. But yeah, for that much money, you're having something that can compete against some of the top dogfighters. Sure, it doesn't have the most powerful weaponry, but you can definitely make the most of it. Very good plane. So I'm in a dogfight here. So can't see because it's stupid shit. So anyway. Air checkpoints. As I was saying, it's a very good dogfighter, so. As you can see here, I'm fucking up this laser. It was only a couple bullets and he just started smoking. He's freaking out, bro. He's losing his shit, bro. He didn't know he was going to get shot down by a sea breeze today. But yeah. A lot of people will claim that the machine guns are very weak, and they are not. So, like, as you can see, I am just tearing this guy apart. Boom! Got him right there. Got but, him! Yeah, so, like, <laughs> it's a very, very good plane. Uh, not only does it have machine guns, but it also has bombs, which is a very good bomber because its elevators are super strong and it's super small. Uh, it's about as fast as a laser, and it's a two-seater. And on top of all of that, it's an amphibious plane, which you can literally turn into a submarine by diving into the water. <laughs> this plane does not get damaged from uh, going into the water, right side up at least. But if you just so happen to go into the water going upside down, however... Well then you turn into a bunker and you will literally be invincible to anything that's not a bullet heading towards your character. Because if you're upside down your character will still you know, be able to be shot out. But anything else hitting the vehicle you will just not die. It's super overpowered. Ugh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Dumbass. Ugh. <laughs> Are you like, uh, expecting something else or something? Because like... I lollygag on this plane a lot, Ugh. so like, you should go watch that video I made on it, Ugh. so I can make money. I can make a thousand dollars, dumbass. Ugh. Uh, so like, you, you, FDA, 
told me it was like illegal to like not put a dog fight in here for you guys but like I guess I have to put it in here now or I'll go to like J Jello Ugh. Ugh. but like you should go watch that video I made so I can make a thousand dollars so like here you go to be 11 Ah, I hate the elevens. No matter what I do, you just crash into me. Unless I'm like really rusty for some reason. Yes, got the hits on the B11. Now I'm at an advantage. wish it never fucking came out or I wish it wasn't a dog fighter it shouldn't be one yep jet coming <laughs> 